Alrighty, my friends, welcome back here um, to another week with the Top Step Futures Oil Trading Challenge I'm doing here. Corey Smith, CoreFX. Um, bringing you guys another weekly update, showing you guys every trade I made throughout this week, the outcomes of them, what's going on, how the strategy is performing, exactly why I enter trades, how I enter trades, when I enter trades, when I exit them, a full dive breakdown of uh, futures trading. And to show you guys an insight into um, you know, taking trading to a new market and a new you know, asset class. We're trading oil. It's a totally different animal. It's futures contracts, totally different, you know, everything trading wise. Platform is all different. Um, hours of trading is all different. Sizing, position sizing, um, everything is different. The macroeconomics that affect the price, the charts, everything is totally different. Price action is the same. Candlestick charts are the same. Trends are the same. Um, developing a strategy and being consistent is the same. All of this stuff in trading in general is the same. It's just a totally new market. So I'm showing you guys taking a, somebody who's never traded futures or oil, diving into the markets, and showing you guys my results live. Um, as you guys can see, we are back down to break even. We are back down to basically $50,000 in the account. This week we did take some losses. Um, was a losing week overall. But once again, our average winning trade remains at $250 versus $140 average losing trade. So we're still just about uh, almost two to one risk to reward. Even though our winning trade percentage is only 35.9%, we are still at break even. So we're not losing money. And after 23 trading days, uh, over a month of trading, we're still at break even with a strategy that we can see now isn't performing very well. Um, that's, that's pure discipline. That's showing you guys the power of discipline, having a plan, and following it. That's what that is right there because it's a losing strategy. I took a random strategy, threw it on paper, and I told you guys I was going to run with it and show it live being tested, forward tested live with you guys. And that's what we've been doing. We have a decent amount sample size now to start making some tweaks on the strategy, start seeing what we can do to improve this. I know I've been saying it over and over again, but one of the biggest factors limiting this um, strategy and this plan is the inability to have multiple positions on at once. And that is a very tough thing to handle right now. Um, only having one contract that we're entering and exiting, we can't take multiple take profits. We can't really trail our positions. Um, so it is a little bit limiting. We can't scale in. It is a little bit limiting in that sense. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to figure out. But either way, we're still running with the strategy. Um, we are at break even now, but again, over this many days, over this many trades, to still be at break even with the class asset you've never traded, with a strategy you just threw on paper, um, that's pure discipline. That's pure following a plan, having a strategy, sticking to it, going for two to one base hits, having a limit on how much you can lose in a day, how many trades you'll take in a day. All of that is the reason why this account is not in the negative, why we haven't failed out of this yet, and now we're still holding on. Um, we were 52% winning days, so 52 out of 100 days we ended the day winning. But um, because we're taking multiple trades, some of these winners are you know a loss, then a win, so it ends up being a small win on the day. Um, but as you guys can see, here's the numbers that matter, right? Our average winning trade, our average losing trade, our winning trade percentage. That's what matters, and that's what you guys can see is doing good. That is where you can see we're almost 2 to 1 still. Our best day has been 442, worst day has been 327. Um, not the greatest numbers there, but again, this is just the best versus the worst. If we could trail our positions, and if I had two entries I could make on a trade, and I could trail one, this number would be massively bigger, this number would be massively bigger, right? We would have some trades that were double this size if we were able to trail them with some of the trades we've taken. So, that is limiting us. In a big way, we would be way above break even, but it's still doable with, with what we're doing. And I want to be able to try it and test it with what I have. So instead of jumping ship right away and going to a bigger account to be able to trade more volume, which I will probably do down the road, I'm going to stick with this for right now. See if I can make some adjustments to the strategy. See if I can um, get things a little bit better performing. And then um, I'll make the necessary steps from there to get the bigger position sizes. All right, guys, so just real quick breakdown of this week's trading with oil. I will go into every single day and all the trades that we took right when we get done here, but just to show you guys a little recap on the week. Um, as you guys can see, continued the bullish movement. 
right? So we have our week here. And as you guys can see, we're continuing higher, right? So we started up above $60 a barrel and now we're back up above $63 a barrel. So we are recovering a lot of losses that we saw last year. And as you guys can see this year, since the beginning of January, we have been moving higher. So prices continue to move higher. We are continuing to break higher highs, setting higher highs, higher lows, basing pattern breakouts. So we're continuing to break out to the upside. So we will continue to look for long opportunities. That's one of the things I'll be analyzing in these results is how many longs are working versus shorts. Maybe I can start focusing on just breakouts in one direction. Maybe I'm gonna focus just on the retests after the breakout, or maybe I'm gonna scrap retests and just do the breakout. These are all the things that forward testing a strategy and having results now to go back and look at are going to do. I've been journaling everything I do aside from that online journal that you see through Top Step. I have a full journal here with all of our trades every single day, market status, uh, what the markets traded like, why I took the trades, how I felt taking them, what the outcomes were, what I could or couldn't do better. Then I start to notice things that I want to track. I start to notice, okay, I want to I want to know if a breakout worked and if it was long or short, if a retest worked and if it was long and short. So I have stats to go and look at and be like, okay, this is better performing than this. So I'm going to take this out and focus on this, right? Or the other way around. I'm going to take out the worst performing one, focus on the better performing one. Um, and vice versa. So that is that is one of the critical key components here to st strategy testing and developing a strategy and following it. So um, no further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the trade. Starting with Monday throughout the week, we had some winning, some losing, uh, more losing than winning this week. Unfortunately, we lost about 500, I think, on the week um, back down to the starting point. But we're still good. We're still all right. Drawdown's normal. We're figuring out these kinks in this strategy and we're going to continue moving forward. All right, guys, so thank you. I appreciate it again, and uh, let's jump into the charts and see some trade. All righty, guys, we are now back at it here. It is Monday afternoon. Uh, I took a couple trades today. Unfortunately, both of them led to losses. So I'll go ahead and dive into here what we did. Um, this morning, this was our range up here, trading above this green line. Um, I could have used this bottom, should have used this bottom. But I used this bottom here, got in short with this break and close of the level there with this red bearish candle, got in short, price hit this level down here at 60.50, bounced, took us out for our stop loss up here, continued higher and now closed up above our resistance, got in long, what did it do? Pulled back against us, bounced off support again and has launched up since then. So um, following the plan, executing the strategy, took two small losses today. We still have, you know, we only lost $220 out of uh, two losing trades. And our account balance is now at 50317 So, um, unfortunately, started the week off with a loss. A couple losses, but, um, you know, $220 for on the day with two losses isn't too bad. We can make that and more back with one trade. So, we'll be back tomorrow. Um, we'll be back at it. Hopefully, we have a better setup. These setups were part of the strategy and executed properly, just didn't work out. Um, so that's this day's recap for Monday. I'll be trading tomorrow, Tuesday as well. So I'll be recapping that for you guys. But that does it for today. 22 ticks down, two losing trades, about 10 or 11 ticks each trade. Uh, and here we stand at $50,300. All right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you on Tuesday. Alrighty guys, uh, Tuesday now, it is Tuesday afternoon, another trading day in the books. Unfortunately, today was another losing day. Uh, not a good start to the week so far, back-to-back -back losing days. Um, but we hit our max drawdown, lost $290, basically 29 ticks, 215 tick stops. Um, as you guys can see, this morning, early morning, came up to the computer and we had a range-bound market here in this value area. Had a break and close up above resistance, which was $62 a barrel, very strong level. Got in long, price started to go up, then turned around, reversed, stopped this out for our 15 tick stop. Price then broke and closed back below this $62 a barrel, so we got in short on the break and close below. And price started to go in our direction, actually went about 20 ticks in our direction from 81.86 down to, so about 25 ticks down to. 6160, 86 to 60, um, and then rejected and went up to stop us out and then ended up going up the rest of the day. Um, pretty crazy price action today, not the best. 
Um, as you guys can see, we pretty much just have all this, you know, all this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, choppy, whipsaw price action. Um, so unfortunately, we got stopped out twice today. Part of the game, our account balance, unfortunately though, is back down to basically break even. We're back down to fifty thousand twenty-one dollars. Again, guys, we are forward testing this strategy here. We're making tweaks as we go, seeing what we can adjust to what we can improve on, and um, yeah, just seeing how we can get better at this oil trading. As you can see on the hourly, we have been moving strongly higher. Um, taking it to the daily chart, you can see where we've just been blowing through resistances. Broke out of this range here, and I've just been blowing higher since. Um, we've blown through $62 a barrel today, now testing $63 a barrel. We'll see tomorrow what price action is doing. We'll see if we have any opportunities tomorrow to trade. I am anticipating price will, you know, base out here Tuesday night and then Wednesday. Look for hopefully a nice short um, opportunity off the highs here. Hopefully we reverse and get a little bit of a short. But um, that's today's trading day, guys. Unfortunately, back-to-back -back losing days, but we'll recover. We'll get the money back. All it takes is one good trade, and both those losing days are, are wiped off the map, and we're back into profit. So uh, we'll be sticking to it. We'll be sticking to the plan, trying to make some adjustments as we move here. I might have to upgrade this account to a bigger account size. Um, not having two lots to play with is, is really tough. Um, it really limits the ability to have big winning trades which is really at the end of the day with a strategy like this what makes and breaks it so um yeah i'll be keeping you guys posted we'll be continuing to test this we'll see how wednesday trading goes we stay away from the crude oil inventory report at 10 30 a.m eastern time however we'll be trading early morning around 4 30 a.m up until around 9 30 10 um see if we got opportunity in there if we don't have an opportunity then we don't trade on the day all right guys we'll take us into wednesday all righty guys Wednesday here, a uh, short trading day for us, but um, still a trading day. And um, I'll show you guys the trades I took today. This morning we opened up with a nice range between this uh, really 62.90 resistance, trapped under $63 a barrel for WTI. But this is the range we were in this morning, right? Range bound between this. This is what I was looking for. Woke up around this time for the um, 515 candle to break and close below. Got in one position short here. Continued to move up to retest this level. Got in a second position at a better entry. Um, I knew that it was a short trading day with news at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time every Wednesday. Um, I wanted to, I knew I wasn't going to be taking any other shots. I knew I was taking one trade, so I figured I would double down Try to get a big winner. Um, so we went short here. Our stop loss was up here, 15 ticks higher, 82.12. This entry was less than 15 ticks higher because it came up closer to retest our entry point. Got um, range bound market for a while and eventually did move lower. Our first take profit was down here. As you can see using structure, also psychological $62.50. Uh, we took our cash, our uh, first position out here at 62.50. Got our first win. And then we were trailing our second position. I was actually using the five minute chart swings. Um, we came down here, moved lower. I adjusted it down to 62.60 a barrel. It was up here, 62.70. Moved it down to 62.60 because I actually had to step away from the computer for a little while. I wasn't able to monitor it to move the stops down. So I put it on a tighter stop. I didn't have much time with the news coming out anyways. And we got out. As you guys can see these moves from the news, this is why we don't change it. Uh, trade, I mean, sorry. As you guys can see, look at these swings. It's from 72 down to 02, really. 70 tick swings in 15-minute candles, right? This 15-minute candle right here. Right here. Is insane, right? That's a 15-minute candle. Look at that price action. Awful. Um... That was the 1030 candle right around the news event. And then we sold off and then we shot up and then we sold off and we've just been bouncing around, right? So this is why we don't trade the news. This uh, almost 70 tick candle in 15 minutes. That is an extreme whipsaw volatility. 
Um, that is not what we want to trade. So we got out just in time, took some profits. Not the biggest day, but uh, for Wednesday, I'll take it. We're back up to around 50300 So we need a couple wins here on the week to end positive for the week. And we'll be in good shape. Um, but that is where we stand here on Wednesday. We've got some more trading, two more trading days. Hopefully Thursday, Friday, give us some better opportunities. So stay tuned. I will see you guys in Thursday's video. Alrighty, guys. So quick update here. Um, Thursday was actually a no trade day for me. As you guys can see, this week was another really rough week price action wise. Look at this trading range for Thursday. We have some wild price action with this M formation here. Shoot higher, sell off, shoot higher, sell off. Really tough price action in there. Luckily, um, I didn't take any trades. Didn't lose any money, but didn't see any setups either. Friday we did. Unfortunately, Friday we were on the wrong side of the trades. We had this range, broken close below. Tried to go short one time, fell about 15 ticks, and then reversed up, stopped us out. Took one more shot at it short when we broke and closed below again. And as you can see, we failed, shot back up, continued to move higher, and it uh, was an extremely bullish day for oil. As you can see here, uh, really price just exploded higher, blew above $63 a barrel now. So we are now trading up and above this resistance of $63 a barrel. Um, continue to see bullish price action out of oil. Taking to the daily, you can see this uptrend continues, right? We're just continuing to blow through new highs. We got another big bullish candle close here, and price is just continuing higher. We hit 70 and blew past $70 a barrel on Brent crude oil, the European uh, standard. And as you guys can see, we got some levels up here, $66 a barrel, obviously $65 a barrel, and $64 will be temporary. We got a stronger one at $66 a barrel here, up here at $68 a barrel or so we have up here. And then, you know, up here, $70 a barrel is a massive resistance. So we got a lot of room to the upside. We'll be looking for continuing trades higher. Um, but Friday, unfortunately, was a drawdown day. Took two losses. Um, that's not going to do anything for us. And the account's at... 49996 basically back to flat back to even back to where we started so it's back to the drawing board figure out what's going on here um i will be catching up with you guys next week we'll be back at it next week back to trading back to recording showing our results and i will uh be updating you guys be doing a lot of testing over the weekend a lot of reviewing my strategy my entries my exits um again i'm showing you guys a live updated dive into taking on the futures market crude oil never traded it before we started this challenge we are 23 trading days in about a month and a half time in um and we are at break even and that just shows you guys the power of risk management and discipline with a strategy that's not working very well we still aren't losing money so um that right there should show you guys the power of discipline and following a plan, having rules, and sticking to them. Right, guys? All right, so that wraps it up for this week. For Friday's trading, I hope everybody has a great weekend, and we will definitely see you guys on Monday. Well, you'll see the video later in the week, but I will start recording, and I'll be behind here on Monday showing you guys my results. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you soon.